career-building opportunities. My name is Simon Knapp, and every week here on the channel, we look for ways to change career, start a new business. Ultimately, we're looking for personal and financial fulfillment in everything that we do. So welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing if you're, you're not yet. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, where I am in my career change path. If you're on a path as well, let me know in the comments how you're getting on. And uh, yeah, I'd love to know what everyone's working on. Lots of people changing careers from things I always assumed were lifelong careers as well, by the by. I have just moved from New York City down to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, the process was kind of chaotic as it always is when you move house. There's a thousand mile drive and a big yellow Penske truck, uh, which actually gave me time to meet one of my like internet friends, internet heroes, Casey Liss from uh, Accidental Tech Podcast and lots of podcasts on the Relay FM network. And uh, yeah, life's just been really busy. I had to get a driving license in the US for the first time, which was amusing. I've only ever seen horror stories of the DMV and uh, it wasn't too bad. Driving test in the US is apparently no more than four minutes of actual driving. So all in all, it's quite straightforward. But between that, unpacking the house, having to buy a car and getting health insurance, because for some reason, that's still a thing in the US. I just haven't had time to make any content. I also haven't had any time to do any programming. But now we're back into uh, sort of focus mode, really back at work. I'm here in Calgary today, heading back to Beijing in the next couple of hours and then Berlin in a few days time. So I've now been with this airline for just over a year, 13 months to be precise. Before that was British Airways, this airline in China, and hopefully the next step is to be a developer in uh, hopefully at least the same time zone as my family, ideally within the same city as well. Where are you on your path? Like I say, let me know in the comments to, uh, to let me know how you're getting on. And if you need any help, I always Always happy to try and answer questions for you. So what does the future of this channel look like? Well, I found over the last few weeks when I haven't been in front of the camera that I've really missed it. So I'm definitely not going to stop creating content. But what I did find was that perhaps I wasn't able to exhibit my true personality um, just through, I don't know, getting used to interacting with the camera. I think I have 40 videos now and slowly becoming more natural, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I really want to make sure that I'm, I'm being true and honest to myself and to you, the subscribers and the viewers. With that in mind, I want to start documenting more of what I'm doing to change career rather than just offering inspirational stuff and sometimes sharing failure because that's something I'm really good at is failing at things. I, I want to document things that I'm working on, things that really show the career change and the, the path to getting to that end goal. With that in mind, uh, I'm going to start documenting a brand new app that I'm making. It is a YouTube, uh, YouTube analytics app for content creators. Basically, the existing offerings don't really fit all of my needs and I want to solve this problem. I want to solve it for other creators and hopefully it will become a viable business. You never know. But what I also want to show is the steps it takes to start something completely fresh. Uh, steps that I probably should have taken when I started this channel uh, and with again to say with that in mind for I think the third time in this video with that in mind I am going to show you the steps that I take as I launch a new YouTube channel I'm going to really embrace one of my truest passions which is technology and is the Apple ecosystem at the moment and I'm going to launch an iOS focused uh, YouTube channel there are many out there but then there are many career change or uh, personal development channels as well but I want to show you every single step that I take. I'm going to document it for you and share it hopefully over the next few weeks so you can see just how easy it is to get started. But getting started is the, the hardest bit. Let me tell you that up front. You're going to cover everything from market research, branding, uh, the technical side of things, not go into too much of how to use a camera because that's really not my focus, but just show you the steps that you, t you need to take in order to try and get a positive launch once you start releasing content, once you start something new. It applies whether you're trying to start a small business or you know content creation as well. Hopefully these tips will be transferable and you'll find them useful. If you're still watching this video, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it because this really is an accountability video for me so that I can look back and say, I said I was going to do all this stuff. Why haven't I? If you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, I'm going to continue to try to be more active on all of the social networks, which are linked in the profile below. So the next video is going to be in Berlin in just a few days time, when I'm going to look at how to start branding a new channel on what it takes and how much of a ball ache it can really be. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I will see you in a few days. Goodbye.